From the News Channel 8 studios, let's talk live with your hosts, Natasha Barrett and Doug McElway. Welcome back, everybody. Modern science has finally tied together the way in which getting leaner and improving longevity and how supplements might make getting to both easier. Uh, Dr. Dave Wonorowski is here to tell us how this combination works, also known as Dr. Dave. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here with us on the show. So I think the key here is, like we just said, supplements, something you can buy at the store right. can help you live longer. Right. We're always looking for something that makes life easier and simple. Now, if you went to a doctor and you said, how do I live longer? How do I live healthy? And oh, by the way, how do I I drop a couple pounds, they should tell you about what I call the four pillars of health. Mm -hmm. The first one is your nutrition, and I'm going to throw supplements in with that one. The next one is adequate sleep, and that always gets left out of the mix. No one mm -hmm. talks about it, and it really should. It's absolutely critical. Next is stress reduction, and then, of course, exercise. So what I like to do with my pa uh, patients and people who come to me for weight loss or for longevity, because the two look a lot alike, and let me mm -hmm. clarify that. If I took somebody who was old and sick, and somebody who was young but obese or fat or even just a little bit overweight and I did blood profiles on them, I might not be able to tell the difference because they look a lot alike. And in point of fact, being overweight, being heavy actually accelerates the aging process. So if we look at what happens in our bodies when we don't do the four pillars of health, there's three things that happen that are the main things. Number one, inflammation in the body. Number two, fat storage in the body, and number three, what we call oxidants or free radical damage. And the way I describe that is like termites running around through your body. So when we choose supplements to help people live longer and get fit, we got to start with the basics. And a lot of people would say, well, let's do those four pillars of health, and then if we need to, we'll add supplements. I say, no, don't wait. Add them, do them all together. Make it easy for yourself, because if you can make your body behave internally like a younger, thinner, leaner, healthier person, you're going to have a heck of a lot easier time getting there in the process. And this is what stops most people. It's hard. It's not and that it easy. all comes down to lifestyle choices. It's well, choices much. that we make every single day. And the supplements just help enhance right. those good choices that you make. Enhance is the key word. We're going to try to mimic the changes in our body. We use words like biochemistry and physiology. All it means is what's going on inside your body. And that's where we use supplements. And I think the main point here is that you really can control your longevity, how long you live in a lot of ways. It comes down to cellular breakdown. Let's talk about that. What happens to your cells if you make poor decisions? Okay. When you make poor decisions, again, it goes back to those three things. Oxidation, free radicals, and fat storage. So we want to combat those things. Inside the cells, they burn the time clocks up. You have uh, biologic time clocks inside your cells. They're called telomeres. And telomeres live at the ends of the chromosomes, and they get shorter every time a cell divides. The faster your cells divide, the sooner you're going to die. That's what it boils down to. So we use supplements like fish oil to prevent inflammation. We reduce inflammation with that. And oh, by the way, it also reduces appetite, changes the way your body stores fat, and it actually impacts on your genetics. So you're not living with your genetics. 30% of what happens to you is genetic, 70% is actually wow, within lifestyle. Now let's say I've lived you know, for years making poor choices, mm -hmm. bad choices. Is mm -hmm. there a way to reverse that and to get your cells healthy again? Absolutely. Top three supplements. Fish oil, number one. Fish oil, fish oil, fish oil. Number two, I believe strongly in multivitamins because you need to have those basic things there. You need to have the mm -hmm. basic raw materials to make things. And finally, strong antioxidants. These are those things that take care of the termites in your body. And I like to use things from dark berries, like uh, black raspberries, black currants, elderberries, and uh, chokeberry, a very potent one. I don't use the Osei and blueberry very much for that reason. Okay. Finally, there's actually a supplement you can uh, use now that turns on an enzyme that lengthens those telomere segments. Mm -hmm. uh, it's very expensive. It's been out for about two years now. There's a lot of people on it. We're seeing some amazing results with it. So if you do those basic things and you change the internal mechanisms in your body to act as if you're younger, stronger, leaner, and healthier, guess what? It starts to happen. And as you said, sleep is so important in that because that gives time for the cells to repair themselves once you start making those good decisions. Absolutely. I want to talk about, go back for a second to the fish oil. Sure. Because I you always hear that. I'm always right. hearing fish oil is good right. for you. I even right. tried taking fish oil supplements, but sure. you're almost waiting for something to kick in. But it's not one of those things that's going to happen overnight. It's something that's going to happen over long term. Let's talk about the process that happens when you take a supplement like fish oil. Sure. Well, a lot of it depends on the dose. And one of the problems we have as a 
people like myself who use supplements as therapies for people is people don't take enough. Believe me, if I gave you 10 fish oil capsules now, by tomorrow you would feel different. But the recommendations that we hear about are one or two a day or two fish meals a week, which is what the uh, American Heart Association recommends. You're not going to change much very quickly there. So when I put my people on diets or they come to me with age-related problems, I hit them pretty hard with the omega-3 fatty acid fish oil. And you, you can't just get that from eating fish every day? I mean, do you, ha do you recommend taking well, the supplements as well? You heard about the folks who were right. on earlier that's about fish too. harvest. I I mean, <laughs> when you harvest fish, you have the fish liver, which is where the oil is. You may as well use that for fish oil. That's the first thing. Uh, we have aquaculture. You can you can you know grow fish and you can grow other alternative sources. But the bottom line is is that you know you need to get it into your body. It's an essential fatty acid. Uh, if you want to eat fish, you're risking mercury, lead. Uh, polyvinyl chlorides, polybiphenols, all kinds of things that you can't take out of fish, but you can take out of fish oil. All right, wonderful. Dr. Yeah. Dave, thank you so much for being here on the show. Great tips for all of us. Thank, thank you. you. Great pleasure. Thank you. And up next, new films from Denzel Washington and Mark Wahlberg. And Arch Campbell will have this week's real news. And later, a TV evangelist has his own sure. interpretation on why Haiti has been hit with such a tragedy. We'll have more on Pat Robertson's controversial remarks right after this break. Stay with us.